we, we started LT, LT service in uh, uh, 2010, yeah. in December. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, mm, this is not the first operator. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in 3G, mm -hmm. we, we, are first we were first operator. But uh, the other companies uh, accompany with us. So uh, we uh, we were considering new services mm -hmm. and new technologies regarding LTE. So we are uh, we are maybe seven or eight position, seven or eight uh, uh, start 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 LTE, Se seventh or eighth. Mm. I think I think sub services uh, most important. More, rather than uh, technology. Mm. So you decided to. But, mm. and yes. but, but uh, our competitors uh, plan to start LTE uh, this year. Mm. So this is advantage to mm. competitors. You went ahead of the market. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that's two years ahead of the market. Two, two years, yes. yes. So you want to own um, LTE in Japan? Yes. Yes, by, by coming out with the technology ahead of the competitors. Um, you have had commercial LTE service in Japan for two years now. What are some of the most important things you've learned in terms of how the public uses it? Do they use it majority of the time or do, do they still prefer 3G or HSPA plus? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Here. Sorry, sorry. Mm. Uh, some of the most important things you've learned in terms of how the public uses LTE for the last two years. Mm. And do they use it majority of the time or do, do they still prefer using 3G or HSPA plus? Mm, difficult question. Uh, our LTE area is um, still lim a little limited. Mm -hmm. So but uh, urban area is uh, the customer can use LTE. Mm -hmm. So and we can set the priority LTE camping or 3G camping. Oh. The, uh, first of all, we uh, we thought the which uh, we should select the priority. Mm -hmm. uh, our vice president said. Uh, we should LT pri priority, LT. Mm. but mm, just one disadvantage. Uh, we select the LT priority. Mm -hmm. The terminal battery consumption is a little high, oh, so okay. we need to more and more improve mm -hmm. the battery consumption. But that's on the vendor side, right? For yeah. the handsets. Yeah, but sometimes we. Uh, teach um, how, how to improve the battery consumption. Changing internal software. Ah, okay. we, have, we have a lot of technical know-how mm -hmm. in Docomo. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're doing that now? Yeah. And eventually that will be made available also here in the Philippines? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm sure the mm -hmm. loads and loads of data at mm -hmm. very fast speed mm -hmm. would drain on battery mm -hmm. life, right? So. Maybe, maybe when smart introduce uh, new smartphone, uh, uh, the functionality is already installed. Mm, but for the existing ones in the market, mm. it could drain up. Mm. That, that goes for phones, handsets, um, the tablets, and mm. the laptop, right? Yeah. That goes for all. It, mm. It's fast battery. Mm. And, um, okay. Maybe next year, no problem. Yes. But right now... It's mm, the birthing phase. Yes. yes. It was increasing. Uh, aside yeah. from the fast draining of the battery life, what other pain points have you identified when you first offered LTE? Or up to now, even two years down the road? Hmm. What, what, what were some of the, um, the painful, uh, you know, problematic uh, areas that you, you're encountering or mm -hmm. you have encountered? Uh, you mentioned GSI. Program? For LTE. For LTE. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. 
this is not regarding LTE, uh, inc including 3G. Uh, right now, we encountered uh, signaling issues. Sig signaling Signal issues. Okay. Uh, smartphone generates many, many signaling traffic mm. because uh, if you put smartphone on the table, but smartphone automatically download yes. many many data frequently, uh -huh. so that battery consumption is uh, going going down. Going down. Also, uh, the network overload. Uh, yeah, mm. overload. Sometimes mm. overload. So the network must also be aside from the handsets and the tablets and all. Mm. The network must also be. Um, ready to take in a lot, a sudden surge in traffic mm. of data. Mm, yes. mm. So, uh, we need to take care of uh, network load, load also. Uh. What, the mo what are the most popular services in Japan that take advantage of your LTE network? Of course, there was this, um, the one where the student was saying, I love you to his mm -hmm. blonde teacher. Mm -hmm. but what are the other popular services? Other popular services? Mm. Right now, we focus on cloud, cloud services. But a little before, mm -hmm. uh, we provide many, many uh, content and mm -hmm. applications like uh, Japanese animation uh, okay, yeah. or Japanese movie um, and music. music. Uh, customer uh, can, en can can enjoy uh, download uh, full full music or full movie. Um, yes. Mm. Mm. But what about for the other segments of the market, like for businesses? Because mm. uh, movies, music, animation is more for the younger mm. customer segment. Uh, we have already provided uh, car navigation service, car, car navigation, navigation. Okay. and uh, M to M to M, machine to machine is ah, okay. also. For example, uh, some corporate business uh, mm -hmm. department uh, sets uh, uh, temperature sensor oh. on the uh, tower, so they can collect the uh, climate, uh, climate information or temperature, uh, hu humid information. Humidity. Yeah, yeah you and, have that in your hotels to humidify. And, mm. and they can predict the weather, weather uh, by them, themselves. Mm. And of course, faster uh, transmission of data yeah. across all, say, branches Fast, or... Yeah, on real-time basis. Mm. Real-time, mm. real-time transmi transmission mm. of data. Uh, what are the things that you think your net network needs to improve on? You mentioned earlier the one on the battery life, how to tweaking the internal software to to be less of a um, drain on the battery. Mm. Then you mentioned also the further improvement on the network. Mm. What other areas do you think um, LTE in Japan needs improvement for? At least for Docomo's point improvement. of view. Improvement. Mm. Net network has um, two layers. Mm -hmm. One is radio. radio. Yes. And the two is uh, backbone. Backbone, yes. And LTE needs uh, many, many big back big backbones. Oh. So we uh, reconsider the uh, transmission network architecture. Mm -hmm. We re refresh the uh, network architecture mm -hmm. to uh, enhance the capacity and. Uh, reliability and our ad advantage uh, is uh, two back holes 3G back hole and uh, LTE back hole so if the one base station uh, 
is uh, bro broken, uh, we can we can serve uh, back only LTE service. Hmm. Uh, this is redundancy. Mm. We can we can re re realize redundancy. But what if let's say the LTE backbone? There's a problem with the LTE backbone. Hmm. Uh, you see a major um, um, major degradation in service compared to say when it's LTE hmm. running the show. Hmm. You see a major degradation in the speed, in the in the traffic hmm. because you said you have the. 3G backbone and the LTE hmm. backbone, and the 3G Separated. backbone can be uh, a support should the LTE backbone hmm. be problematic. Hmm. But can will customers be uh, noticing a severe degradation in the service hmm. or not really? Uh, not, not, not really. really. Mm. Mm. So it's it's a uh, how 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 slower can the speed be mm. under 3G? Mm. Yeah. It would be slower, of it's course. Slower, uh, but, mm. but you are confident that the LTE backbone in Japan is... Mm. Can weather, mm. yes, can mm. be... It's resilient. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, how, what can Philippines learn from you? Mm. It's now rolling out the LTE technology later this month. So, mm. what can we learn from you? Mm. Right now, we we are deploying many many services, mm. uh, such as Shabette uh, Consel, uh, yes. Mail Hoyan Consel, Translator Phone. Uh, so maybe uh, we have many successes and many failures. Mm. So, uh, I think in the Philippines, uh, smart extract the success, success service, only success service. Uh, mm, we are, we are ba validation uh, mm -hmm. to explore LTE services. Good thing we have him here, so we know which ones are more successful. Mm. We don't have to mm. do it and fail because you're already there to mm. guide us through LTE rollout. This is common issue uh, mm. for all operators. Ah, okay. So it's mm. not a cultural thing. Mm. It's more mm. for operators. Mm. Ah, okay. Thank you, Shin. Anything more you want to add? Mm. I, mm. I think uh, LT is mm, very very good service. Uh, uh, my my friend said uh, mm, SMS text text is quick mm. response uh, comparing to voice call. Yes. So uh, in the Philippines. Uh, SMS text is more popular than voice call. Yes. Uh, it also realized uh, by realized by LTE. LTE is quick response also. Mm -hmm. So maybe I think uh, in the Philippines, uh, LTE um, will be uh, popular immediately mm -hmm. comparing to 3G. Quick response. Quick response. Mm -hmm. And we're all, we can't live without our cell phones. Mm. So, mobile internet, mm. broadband internet would mm. be a lot faster with LTE. Maybe SMS takes to use uh, uh, migration to LTE mm. using uh, Facebook or uh, ah, yeah. Twitter. Yeah, we're, we're so fond mm. of those things. Mm. Mm. That is alternative service. Uh, yes. 